Na mhileo tuliweza kukita kambi hapa kamkunji jijini Nairobi ambapo waadhiriwa wa ghasia za polisi ambazo zimeshuhudiwa humu nchini hivi majuzi waliweza kujumuika na kuungana na viongozi wao waliokuja kuwafariji. Tuliweza kuzungumza na baadhi ya waadhiriwa hawa na tazama walivyoyasema. Nilishtuka sana. Liona risasi meingia kwa mguu. Nikadhania ni tear gas. Kuguza hivi, kuguza pandei, nikaona damu inatoka. Mke wangu alichukua fursa ya kuita majirani wakanifunga mgu. Wakafunga pande hizo zote mbili nikabebwa na majirani marafiki kwa pikipiki. Tukaenda, tukaenda tufanyie first aid hapo tu kwa kijiji. Tu kuweza kufaulu kwa sababu mama mwingine alikuwa amefika pale hawakuweza. Kakimbizo moja kwa moja mbaki ni. Ah naona umeumia usoni. Unaweza tuelezea ni nini kilichofanyika haswa? hapo area ya Mdhurwa. Hawa na biashara wenye wanauza hapo ndani wakaanza kurusha mawe kutoka ndani kukuja kwetu saidi yetu kwa barabara hivi sasa hapo ndio fraka zikatokea saidi ile majesi walikuwa wanarusha marisasi ma matiagas sasa unajua hiyo mshike mshike moshi ikawa imejaa hapo kila mtu alikuwa nakimbia gari zinakimbia nikajaribu kujificha kando ya gari ndio kwenda hapo kupita marikiti kidogo nikashukia jamaa ametokea kwa kona hivi na alikuwa amebeba panga akanikata sisi kama wa Kenya hakuna mtu aliandika barua kuzaliwa Kenya sote ni wa Kenya hatuko na haki ya kulindwa na kama serikali kabisa inaona iko na haja sana ya vita Somalia kule lamu wa, wa Kenya wenzetu wanauliwa wapeleke wa, wa, maskari kule kila siku kibra ni maskari ukienda pale kwa DC road ya maskari imejaa eh hiyo inamaanisha nini sisi hapa hapa sisi hakuna alshabab hapa ni wananchi wa kibra wacha polisi wa kipo of kibra sisi tunataka kukaa na amani yetu na tumeamua sisi tutambue uhuru kenyata kama president tunatambua Raila Amolo Odinga mpaka vile watakaa chini waongee Raila tuambie mwelekeo ni huu sawa lakini so long as bado kuna issue juzi tumetoa tumekuwa tukienda kulaki baba airport walitupinga marisasi watu watu waliumia wanapiga mpaka gari ya baba, baba risasi hiyo inamaanisha nini i want to caution the government that is a great shame for the police to kill people when the government is supposed to protect its own people when we went to meet Raila Odinga last friday it was in in good faith and it was in celebration of what we believe in but for the police to come and beat us and kill us is a sheer demonstration that the government has lost direction if you see what has happened in other countries including zimbabwe the police were in the streets but not a soul was killed not a child was killed not a single person was brutalized and there was no tear gas there was no water canisters therefore we are moving towards the wrong direction and this country is falling apart that's why i'm asking the president to take charge if he's going to be there i saw the police hit my own car with a stone i saw the police behaving like chokoras then we want to say that kenya has gone as a state is in a state of anarchy and that is why we are calling the international criminal court to set in and it reaches international threshold when there is an emerging pattern and there is an emerging pattern of ethnic cleansing targeting uh, predominantly nasa related communities that is targeting the luas targeting the kisis targeting the luyas targeting the kambas uh, because we know that how people reside in this country um, as nasa women MP, women mps we have uh, launched an initiative um, with which we want to we want to aid our supporters who have been brutalized by police over the last few days. It's a very big concern to us, especially as women leaders. Um, and this initiative that we've started here in Kibra today, we will be moving to other constituencies in Nairobi that have been affected, and also other counties in the, across the country that have been affected by these atrocities.